Hello friends, this is DK Gautam and thank you for joining Interview Point. In this video, we will discuss about views in SQL Server. Okay guys, so let's go to the PPT. So guys, what is my agenda this time and this? So what we will cover in this video. So first we will see what is view in SQL Server and then we will see what is the use of views and then types of view. There are different types of view in SQL Server so we will understand that. Then we will create a view. So I will tell you what is the syntax and how to create a view in SQL Server and then how to alter or modify view and then rename view and after that drop and delete a view okay this is the agenda of this video so i will cover this step by step okay guys before moving to the topic first i need to create some tables in the database so that i can tell you properly what is exactly view and why exactly we need view in our database server okay so suppose this is my database suppose this is the database and there is no table as of now so what i will do i need to create some of the tables in this so guys i already have uh, some code to create a table so i will i need here two tables one table is city so this is the ready syntax that i have so i just need to execute it and i also need to insert some data in this table so just paste it here and i need to insert some data in this rows are affected now i need to check so now we can see there are six records in the table so this is no longer required for us now i also need one more table so that is employee i already have this one so i just need to execute this now you can see command completed successful guys this all the code is available on my blog link is available in the description of this video so now i also need to insert some data here sample data all the all the code i have ready so just i need to execute it rows are affected now we can see now we are having two tables in the database you can see here refresh and we are having city and employee tables okay so we will work on these two tables okay guys so let's jump to the ppt now guys first we will understand what is exactly view so a view is a virtual table whose contents are defined by a query actually this is a table so this is physically exist in our database okay but what we are saying for view view is virtual table okay it is a virtual table whose contents are defined by a query so we have to write a query so whatever the content we want to display to a view for that purpose uh, we need to write our query okay so as of now i am having this table okay so i can get the data from this table for that purpose i need to write a query and what columns i need for that purpose i need to specify the column number of columns in the view now next point is a view is a database object that has no value okay the next point is it is a virtual table okay the next point is a view does not contain any data itself so a view doesn't have any data actually where the data comes data comes from the tables that is present in the database but view exactly doesn't have any data in it okay so the next is uses of view so guys it is very important to understand uses of view actually we are having already table so why views are required what is the use of view suppose if i execute this query all the columns i will get here employee id name department address city mobile and email but suppose i want to share this table with someone else but the thing is i don't want to share the mobile number of the employee and email of the employee so i can say so simply i can say i don't want to share this confidential detail to anyone else so for that purpose i need to hide these two columns suppose mobile number and employee sometimes i also need to hide the address because it is a private things i don't want to share with someone else at that purpose we will go for views okay so it prevents users from seeing specific columns and rows from a database table views are used to implement the security mechanism in sql server the next point is as i already told you this is a private thing mobile number is a private thing so i don't want to share with anyone else so it will provide the security for us okay for our database the next point is views are generally used to focus simplify and customize the perception each user has the database as i already told you I don't want to share this mobile number and email ID. Suppose I want to share someone mobile number, but I don't want to share email ID because I have trust for some of the employees. So with them, I can share the email ID, but I don't want to share mobile number at that time. I can share. So for that specific region, we have to go for views. Now there are 
different types of views in SQL Server. So let's understand. First one is user defined view. So what is user defined view? Let's understand. Users define these views to meet their specific requirements. So according to our requirement, we have to go for user defined views. Suppose I want to hide this city column at that time. I will go for this user defined view. I don't want to show mobile column to anyone else. So I can create a view and hide this mobile number column and then I can share that view to a particular. So user define this view to meet their specific requirements. According to our requirement, we can create. It can also divide into two types. One is the simple view and another is the complex view. So let's understand what is simple view and what is complex. Suppose as of now I am having only one table. Suppose I want to hide this table or suppose I want to hide this column, only one column. So we are working only for one table. Simply we can say it is a simple view. Suppose tomorrow I have multiple tables. I want to fetch data from multiple tables and I want to hide some data. So for that purpose, we will go for the complex view. Suppose in simple way, we can say whenever we will use multiple tables or we are fetching data from multiple tables at that time, we can say it is a complex view. So second one is system defined view. So what is what are the system defined view? The views, suppose there is a folder views. So if I will expand it, I will see there are lots of views available in the database. So we can use according to our requirement. Okay. System defined views are predefined and existing views stored in SQL Server such as temp, dv, master and temp. So there are lots of views available in our database. Okay. So we can use. Them. Okay. Now each system views has its own property and functions okay so each and every views having its own property and own functions okay we don't go deeply here the next point is they can automatically affect to the user defined database now we will understand what is the syntax to create a view so guys it is a very simple syntax so we can see here create view and here we have to provide schema name it is not mandatory and here we have to provide view name as it is mandatory here we have to write as and we have to write here our query select column one column two if we have if we want to select multiple column from table if we want to select from multiple tables so we can provide multiple tables if we will have mul uh, where condition at that time we will go for this where condition if we don't have then it is not necessary so let's try to create a view in our database object so this is the syntax create view schema name and view name so i will provide a view name here suppose employee guys it is recommended before providing the name of the view please put v underscore so that you can identify okay it is a view it is not a table now select column one column two and so on i can see lots of columns available in this employee table so i don't want to so all the column okay so i want to share only name department comma address okay these three columns i want to share but i want to skip all other columns available in the table from employee table okay employee i don't want to put anywhere condition here so first try to execute it so like this view will give the result for us so let me execute it create view view name here now we can see commands completed successfully now refresh this folder and now see you can see there is a view present now execute this view so how we can call a view that is also important to call a view or we can say to execute a view we can write a simple query select star from it is just like a table as i already told you we can call it as a virtual table so select star from v underscore employee now we can see we if we executed this query we got only three columns name department and address but other columns that present in this table like city id mobile number and email that is not shown in this view okay so that's why we are saying that it provides the security for us but this data is not physically present in this view where this data is coming this data is coming from this employee table okay guys now alter view so how to alter view if we already have the view so this is very simple 
actually we just need to put alter but our syntax is very similar okay just go here here what we need to write here alter okay here we need to write alter it is not case sensitive you can write in capital letter or in a small letter it is not case sensitive suppose i want to alter this view as of now i want to fetch the employee records from this employee table and it is a city id so what i want I want to fetch all the records that is present in this table, but the city, the employees belongs to Pune location. So I want to fetch those employees. For that purpose, to meet this criteria, we need to write our query. So here we are using, we need to write a complex queries because I need to fetch the data from two tables, city tables and employees table. Suppose I want to fetch the data like this. Suppose this is my query. Select name, department, name, name as city. I want to fetch the city name. Okay, the employees, those are present in this table, but the location should be Pune. So if I will execute this query, we can see the result. Okay, so here we have put the where condition. As I already told you, where condition is not mandatory. So here I didn't provide the where condition, but in this query, where condition is required for us. So I what I will do, I just update this query. Okay, now we can say it is a complex view for us. Okay, we can put here inner join. Okay, now we are altering this view. As of now, what I have, we can see the result here. What we are getting, we are getting name, department, and address. Okay, but I have removed the address column, but I want want city okay but the employees which belongs to Pune location so let me execute this query and we will see the result if I will execute select start from V underscore employee then we can see the result as expected name department and city okay guys so like this we can create views in SQL servers so next things we need here how to rename the view to rename a view it is very simple here what we will write sp underscore rename view here we have to provide old view name and here we have to provide new view name so we can write like this sp underscore rename okay so let me write this um, sp underscore rename rename and we have to provide old view name comma we have to provide new view name so whatever the new view name will be so i will say v underscore pune employee like this we can give the name okay so we need to execute this query now we can see suppose if i will execute it and now we can see our view is as of now it is present in the old name if i will refresh it we can see name is updated so i will call it with the updated name okay now we need to understand how to drop a view guys there are two ways to drop a view so it is a view we can directly right click on it and we can delete it from here suppose i want to drop by query by using the query so we can simply write the so simple syntax is drop view and we can say if exist we need to check it if it is present and schema name and then view name so guys the example is we can see here drop view and view name okay like this so as of now we are having this v underscore pune employee so what we can write here drop view and this if i will execute it this view will no longer present in our database okay command completed successfully if i will refresh it this view does not present in this database object okay guys so this is all about views in sql server so guys if we can also create view using this ssms tool sql server management studio tool for that i already make a short video so you can check it link is available in icard so guys i have a request to my all viewers please share your feedback to comment because it really help us to improve the quality of the video and also please like this video that really motivates me to make good content seriously it will take lots of our efforts to make a video i hope you enjoyed this video we'll see you in the next video thanks for watching this video guys please subscribe our youtube channel if you haven't subscribed you can follow me on facebook twitter and linkedin this is my blog url you can check it out guys if you have any doubt you can ask me Please provide your feedback. Thanks. Mm -hmm.